Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to explain some basics about the breadboard, LED and resistors. We are going to build an LED circuit as well. For that, we will need a breadboard, UNO R3, 5mm red LED, 220 ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm resistors, two male to male wires. Let's start with the basics first. A breadboard enables you to prototype circuits quickly without having to solder. Top and bottom rows of holes are connected horizontally, while the remaining holes are connected vertically. Inside are strips of metal that provide electrical connection between holes. LEDs are grid indicator lights. They must be used with a resistor to limit the amount of current flowing through it, otherwise they will burn out. There are two leads, the positive lead is always longer than the negative one. Resistors resist the flow of electricity. The higher the value of the resistor, the more it resists and the less electrical current will flow through it. We will use three different resistors. 220 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms and we'll compare how brightly the LED shines. Use the resistance table to read the value of the resistor. We are using five band resistors. The first three bands represent digits in the value of resistance. Next is the multiplier band to signify moving the decimal right or left. The last band represents tolerance. Some of the colored bands are grouped closer together or grouped toward one end. Sometimes this can be hard to see easily. That's why I'm going to use a digital multimeter instead. We measure resistance in ohms. If you're not sure, always start with the highest value. My highest resistor is 10 kilo ohms, so I will use the 20 kilo ohm range instead. This is 220 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms. This will be our schema. The UNO will be a source of 5 volts. 5 volts will be going to one leg of the resistor. The other leg of the resistor will be going to the positive side of the LED. The other side of the LED will be going to ground. We will connect 5 volts to the strip of holes running along the long edges of our breadboard, which are referred to as rails. We will start with the resistor and interconnect the selected row and column. The other leg of the resistor will be going to the positive side of the LED. Pushing the legs of two different components in the same column joins them electrically. Finally connect the ground with the other leg of the LED. This is our finished LED circuit. Let's try the other two resistors. We can now compare how different the LED brightness is for our resistors. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video.